The country is on a deadline, and the Republicans that are in charge in this chamber just simply left. So how? How do we start Gun Violence Awareness Month? We're pushing, they are, pushing a bill that would make mass shootings even more deadlier. I'd like to take the rest of the time to do something that might be a little scary for my Republican colleagues, which is to ask a woman's opinion. Where are our Republican colleagues? They are in charge in this chamber. They manufactured this crisis. If any of my neighbors left work before noon, they would be fired. The really, really mind-boggling part is that the same mega Republicans that manufactured this crisis voted not one, not twice, but three times under the previously forever impeached president with no issues. Republicans love to talk about fiscal this, spending that, but not when it comes to tax cuts to mega billionaires or when it comes to funding bombs and wars that our country and our world doesn't need. They are so completely disconnected with the American people and what the lives of the American people are like. A delay in Social Security check would hurt our seniors. Instability of whether or not they're going to have health care coverage next week is just simply wrong. A default on our debt for the first time in our history would be devastating for the American people, and they just left. Congresswoman Omar's lived experience as a refugee and a child of survivor of war should be welcomed on this committee. It is needed. When you can't pass any bills that actually improve the people's lives, they turn to Congress, they turn Congress into a place of fear-mongering hate. How ironic that the so-called lovers of personal freedom are now moving to censor Congresswoman Omar in the same week they introduced a bill to ban federal employees from engaging in censorship. Where are the free speech warriors today? It is important to understand this has been happening a long time for many of us, especially women of color in this, in this chamber. Republicans are claiming this is about returning power to the states, but they've said themselves that they want to ban abortion nationwide. Kevin McCarthy himself has, and Steve Scalise, as well as Mike Pence, has said it. In fact, every Republican in this committee, though, supports legislation that would lead to nationwide restrictions on abortion. And many of them support a bill to impose prison time on doctors who perform abortions after six weeks. So we need to set the record straight and don't let the rhetoric fool you. Mr. Speaker, I don't think my colleagues on the other side are aware that it is Gun Violence Awareness Month, which should actually be every month. We've already had over 290 mass shootings this year. That's more mass shootings than days in the year. It's been time for us to come together to try to address the horrific gun crisis. It's tearing our communities apart, Mr. Speaker, by our legislative inaction every single day. The plan is by, for them to raise awareness around gun violence in our country, which has again been horrific and more deadlier, is to ensure that it impacts more American families than ever before by making it easier to access stabilizing braces that have been misused, that have been used, to, again, for mass shootings. And it's not just the mass shootings, Mr. Speaker. It's everyday violence that doesn't even make the news anymore. It's a travesty that campaign cash from the NRA, gun manufacturers, and pro-death lobby have blocked the major reforms that we need to keep our communities safe. Our communities need an assault weapons ban. We need reforms on handguns and bold initiatives to reduce the number of firearms in our communities. Most of all, Mr. Speaker, we need accountability for the people that are causing this violence because the gun violence crisis is enabling more people in power unwilling to do anything to stop the mass murder of countless Americans, especially our children. I look forward to supporting future legislation that truly does fight the crisis with the urgency it deserves, instead of pouring more fuel on the fire like this disgusting Republican bill. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate uh, my colleague from North Carolina, because I think this is going to help answer the question that you refuse to answer, Mr. Becker. If you look at the screen, you look at the slide there, it's, it's, it's pretty clear. I, just so we're clear, because I, I know you're blaming social media. You're, a, you're, you're, you're actually somebody that's blaming, you're not looking at me, Mr. Becker, I'm right here. Yep. You're blaming social media for your mismanagement and so forth, which to me clearly looks like greed. Because you're not stupid, you're just being greedy because you wanted to get a payout. I just, just so we're clear for the record, were you aware of any material or non-public information such as the potential capital raise 
before January 6th trading plan change that allowed you to sell over $3 million in stock, in, S in Silicon Valley Bank stock. When the plan was set up, I was yeah. not aware. Yeah, on January, just on January 26th, you changed a corporate trading plan, allowing the future sale of your shares in the company, correct? On that date? January 26th. I filed a 10B51 plan that was signed off on by our legal team. Okay, so it's yes, yes. 